Hello everyone, this is uh, Petros Catholic again here. Um, hello to all, hello to everyone. Uh, special um, greetings to anyone who just recently um, you know, visited uh, or subscribed to my channel. Thank you very much and um, welcome. So, um, I'll just, we'll just get right to it here. Um, the video that I'll be doing today is a continuation of the series of the videos that I've been, I've been doing. In the past video, or the video that, um, that was previously done, I spoke about how God decided to reveal himself, um, you know, to, to, to the, um, I'll say, in humanity through the person of Jesus. And through history, you could see that, and you could consider the, uh, the previous video. Now, in this video, I'll say, uh, it's, it's just a continuation of what are the, some of the things that Jesus said that really sets him apart, okay, that really sets him apart as, as, uh, I would say a very influential person. Not only that, to 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 compel you to make a choice, because that's essentially what Jesus um, stands for. It he he basically compels you to make a choice. Either you believe he's the Son of God or you don't. It's the, as simple as that. You can't. There's no sugar coating it here. Okay. So it will be a four-part video. I'll be doing it in four different stages throughout the next four days about some of the stuff that I think he said that really needs to be addressed or really needs to be taken seriously, okay? So the first, uh, I'll be outlining the four, the, the, four, the four things I'll be speaking about. The first one is, he consistently um, acts, um, I would say consistently acts in the person of God, right? Consistently does that during scripture. Number two, he speaks with unparalleled, unparalleled authority when it comes to scripture as well. Number three, he assumes the power of God. And number four, he, you know, he brings that side, or he brings that, um, I would say, he brings an aspect of God that was never heard of in his time period, even prior. Okay, so we'll, I'll develop the first one today. Um, the, the notion that someone would speak and the person of, of God himself is unheard of okay and I'll be speaking on three scriptures the first one is John 14 verse 6 in John 14 verse 6 Jesus explicitly says I am the way I am the truth I am the life I am the way the truth and the life okay that's where I'll stay now in this particular verse um, we, we could we could look at it in this way right and anybody who's seen the um, video Catholic, well, the series done by Father Robert Barron will know what I'm talking about here. Jesus, um, m for example, let's take some uh, some of the some of the most popular religions out there. Muhammad and this and Islam will never say that I am the way. He'll never say it. That will be blaspheming. He will say something like, "Of I found a way to God, and I want to tell you about it. I want to show it to you." Um, Confucius would never say, um, you know, I am the truth. He would say, I found a, a, a certain truth, I found a, a, a certain amount of consciousness, I want to tell you about it. Buddha would never say, I am the life. He would say, I found a way of life that would help you, or I want to show you, I, I want to teach you about it, right? So none of these religious founders would ever say something like that, but Jesus explicitly says it. Okay, and that sets him that sets him apart right there, just right there sets him apart completely. Um, you take, for example, um, John eight verse um, John chapter eight verse fifty eight, where he says, "Before Abraham was, I am." I mean, come on, it's it's crazy. I mean, you could you can't say stuff like that and expect to live. It's it's blaspheming to the highest order. It's basically saying you're greater than that patriarch who started, um, who started, mon um, see, I can't even pronounce it. It's, 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 you can't fathom this. It's, as a Jew, as a first century Jew, someone would say something like that. It's crazy, okay? And the last one that I want to talk about is Matthew chapter 12, verse 16, I, verse 6, I believe, where he says, I truly I tell you that one greater than the temple is here. Well, the temple is 
is this cornerstone of Jewish tradition, of the, the Jewish faith, where you would go and offer sacrifice to God to atone for your sins. So you're coming in and, and presiding or, ex, or propelling yourself over the temple is, is, is crazy. So your, your, these two examples for me basically sets Jesus apart from, from any other religious founder out there and begs the question, you know, either this guy is crazy or there's a truth in what he's saying and we should take him seriously so that's what I had for this video um, keep in touch for the other videos um, again thank you very much for watching God love you I love you we love you keep praying for us and we'll pray for you pray for me and we'll pray for you and be saints God bless have a good night Saints Elizabeth Holy